Alrighty, this is our um, second test with our bifilla pancake coil after our little discovery um, that discovery being that the current flowing through the resistor um, R2 here is higher than the current flowing into the coil as a whole you will see here we've split the coil up into its two separate windings we now have a series circuit um, R1 is our input resistor here we're going to measure the total current flowing into the coil then we're going that will give us um, that will tell us how much power our resistor is dissipating we're then going to um, measure the voltage across the coil and using our current times our RMS voltage um, we will be able to write down how much power that coil is dissipating and uh, then we'll move on to the second coil um, of course this is now um, our resistor measuring the current flowing into the second coil because it is series so uh, that will tell us our current, it will also tell us the power being dissipated by that resistor once we get the voltage across it. Um, so once we have our current, we then measure the voltage across this coil and that will give us the um, value of power that that coil is dissipating. So we will have um, the dissipated power value of both resistors and of both coils at the end of the test. But first we want to do this one here, um, the coil as a whole. Of course I have left out um, the uh, capacitance, uh, which means between each of those windings here, we've got a tiny little bit of capacitance. Um, and of course that one goes to the next one, so on and so on. But uh, we've left that out. So um, we're going to be calculating the dissipated power of each coil individually and as a whole. We're going to use just the one scope channel so as we know everything is going to be um, exactly as it should be. Um, we don't get any slight variations that may exist between channels. At the moment I'm running at 2.696 megahertz um, and what we are measuring both my resistors I should have wrote down are 100 ohms just for clarity those following the thread will already know that but uh, we'll keep it up to scratch so um, first we're measuring the current into our um, coil as a whole and um, that current happens to be, well we have 1.28 volts across that resistor 1.28 volts RMS of course that means we have um, uh, a current is 12.8 milliamps ok so next we want to measure the voltage across the coil I well, know we don't even want to measure the voltage across um, our coils as a whole and there's going to be that resistor in there as well um, and that there the power that's dissipating um, would have to be removed along with this one to get the total dissipated power of the coils so um, going to measure the voltage across both coils in that resistor and um, what we have there is 4.56 volts RMS so we're going to put that up 4.56 volts RMS now we're going to measure the voltage across R2 Like so, it's one almost two, one point nine two two volts. Maybe I can get a bit 
1.96 so um, we have 1.96 um, that tells us the dissipated power of that resistor there also gives us our current 19.6 milliamps MA for our next coil but uh, that voltage there we must subtract from the uh, voltage across our coil Oops. 4.56 minus our 1.96 so it would appear we have 2.6 volts across our two coils um, so 2.6 volts times our input current of 12.8 milliamps uh, which would be 0.0128 gives us 33.28 milliwatts <coughs> so um, that's the power being dissipated by both uh, coils but if we want to look at the unit as a whole Our total dissipated power is our current times our voltage, and we've gone over scale there. It's just fitting in 5.84, 5.8. Five so we're pretty close there. Of course our 4.56 was minus the voltage of that but the unit as a whole is uh, 5.8 <coughs> and um, we can now work out our total dissipated power 5.8 times uh, where are we 0.0128 so that gives us a 74.24 milliwatts of power being dissipated across our circuit as a whole. So we already have our current for our um, first coil. So now we just have to obtain the voltage which was from our end to end and uh, we have here 2.88 volts RMS 2.88 VRMS um, so now we can calculate how much um, power that coil is dissipating by itself 2.88 times 0 0.0 one to eight gives us thirty six point eight four for that coil. Our second one, so we now have to measure the voltage across that because we already have the current. So the voltage across the coil. Oops. If my scope probe will stay on there for me. 3.12 volts RMS. And it times our current. In this case it's 19.6 milliamps. 0 0.0196. 61.15. So if we add our 61.15 plus our other one which is 36.84 we have a total of 97.99 milliwatts of power being dissipated by just both coils which is not 
uh, with our resistors which you can calculate um, 1.28 volts over 100 ohms using Ohm's law will tell you how much each resistor is dissipating. Um, we now know how much each coil and both together are dissipating which is 97.99 milliwatts but our um, total input energy was 74.24 milliwatts. So um, that's what we have with this test so far. Um, <coughs> before we go any further, somewhere here, it just happens to be right over there. <coughs> Oops. We have to take our single wound coil here and pick out halfway, which is not um, half of that distance. It's half the wire length, which is going to be about out here somewhere. And I've got to try and dig the, um, that turn out, cut it, put a 100 ohm resistor there and one on the input and see if this coil does what that coil is doing. So um, we'll see if it's um, associated with the geometry of the coil or uh, being a flat pancake coil or in fact that the uh, bifilar coil has something over everything else. But um, Perhaps we can't use Ohm's law like this to calculate the power because apparently just the coils themselves are dissipating more power than what we're putting in. So um, something you can try for yourselves anyway. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll get this uploaded so you can uh, watch another one of my Drury videos and um, get something to look at yourself. It's a fairly straightforward setup. You look at it like this this is what we have here what we just tested minus like i said the small capacitance between each winding <coughs> all right uh, we'll see you when we have a look at this one